been uh, away for like a good maybe four to six weeks now. But he's back now, and he seems to still be sharp. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, when the last time he came back, he had been away a little while too, if I remember correctly. So, you know, it's uh, how it is. Sometimes the players are busy in real life, and they come back and I gotta you. represent. I'm, I don't remember. I think Limbo might actually only have might have only started showing up after Steve-O kind of disappeared. So I don't know if they have played each other lately. You know, you might be right. Is Limbo the guy from North Carolina? Uh, Washington. Washington. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Pacific Northwest Washington, yeah. Washington State. Pacific Northwest Washington, yeah. Man, we're getting all these people from out of state. Yeah. He's moved in, yeah, I think he's like with the army or something, so he's kind of moved in here from Italy, more or less. Okay. Yeah. And, and I mean, he, he definitely has the Slayer experience because, like, we have, because most of you probably remember the many, 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 many winner finals and grand finals of, like, ZP versus Limbo. Yeah. Uh, but this time around, it's a different Slayer. Steve will play a pretty different Slayer from ZP, honestly. Much different style. I think, uh, I think Slayer, or so, I'm sorry, Steve O is a lot better at exercising the more sort of off the beaten path tools that Slayer has for moving. That was weird. Okay, that backdash cancel. I would say that Stevo is a little more solid than ZT. ZT is a little slipperier, harder to get, you know, a hold of. But I like this matchup in general because it's two close-range fighters, and I feel like the data really dictates this battle. All right, gets the throw knockdown. Ooh. The super. Now that he tried to catch a back dash, I think. That super is like in the running of the best super in this game. It's really good. The damage yeah. is pretty um, crazy, and like it, it's not that fast, and it's also and it's also plus on block. Yeah. So it's very, it's, a, it's like an extremely good super. That's what you get. You get what you pay for in terms of attention, for sure. Ooh, the double crossover. The Slayer special missed the link, though. Okay. Black B combo. Ooh, no combo off the 6K. A lot of dropped opportunities here for Steve. I feel like if you're going to play this character Slayer, you've got to have your links down. This is like the one character where they're not really linked a lot of the time. It's just very strict cancels. Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not really a uh, Gathling as most of the characters are. Just combo hit, just early burst. Yeah, I think we can call that just Gatling or something like that. They got a That's a good name for it. That's a good name for it. I like that. I think I've heard that. I don't, I don't think I made that up. I can't take credit for it. But already, Steve was showing, uh, yeah, representing Slayer very well. Uh oh, this is going to be big. The card bar had a little bit on it. But he's got but he gets the pretty good stuff. You know, these are the characters where, you know, that just one confirm. And, and you can say goodbye, like 50, 60% of your life bomb, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So those early bursts are really important. Especially because, yeah, early bursts are important because you can make it back by the end of the round. Yeah. But it's especially because both of these characters, I think, are pretty good at raising the guard bar before they start their combo, especially yeah. Yeah. Again, with that raw gold burst, and I'm, re I'm really not sure what Limbo has been going for that, because um, the other round, yeah, he, he, he did... Around five gold burst, that was really weird. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be a big life leap for Steve. Yep. Again, dropping the combo. Let's see if we can take this one all the way to the end. It's a good life leap. Like, if you, if you just plays carefully, you'll be able to take the thunder to me. It's the, it's the RC dust. Oh, that disease. Never mind. Oh, he's for the taunted. Oh, my okay. lord. In winner's final. Right. <laughs> what is that? Is he, is he disappointed in himself for taunting? Oh, going straight for the rematch. So, the thing is that Limbo has actually been talking about how he feels Leo is too weak. So, he's actually been labbing Kai. I've been, I think I played his Kai a few times. Okay. So, um, I won't be surprised if he makes a sudden Kai switch if, if, if you know, it's just not working out. He thinks Leo is weak? Uh, yeah. Wow. I wonder where that comes from. I feel like this character has always been very, very strong. Look at that. Interrupting the pressure, no problem. Dropping his combo there, though. You lose a character whose pressure can be extremely overwhelming, but once you kind of know how it ticks, it loses a lot of its uh, fangs. I think, I think the strength of this character is more that it's very easy to set up very difficult situations for the opponent to defend. Yeah. So he has very, like, he has good fundamentals. His damage is very high, his zoning is good, his mix-up is good, and it's very safe. He's a fundamental, he's like the Robokai of this game. He's just a good character. That's good, that's actually, I never actually thought of it that way. He's like a Robokai that can combo. 
Ooh, that's a perfect. Answering back, so yeah, we are we are definitely not seeing that Kai switch. So was happy enough to be with, 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 with Liu. Maybe maybe the Kai needs a bit more time in the oven. Yeah, it could be. He wasn't shaking his head that time. He only shakes his head when he taunts and, you know, yeah. has an overwhelming victory. Interesting. Interestingly, we actually have another Leo. I don't think he's actually made it on stream, but he's also switching to Kai. So I guess it's just kind of like the, uh, on like the sign of the times, you know? You know, it's so funny because I feel like those characters are so different. I think Kai, his pressure is not nearly as strong as Leo, but he requires a lot better mid-screen poking and uh, standard yeah. zoning in. And just like that, Limbo taking another one over Steve-O. Man, that was quick. Definitely, yeah. So that, so was that, what, so was that what he was going for? It was he preemptively thinks that uh, Steve will go for like a round side mapa or like a, a round side dash, and then he just wants to like round side first. Build the meter. Wow, he went for the def he went for the shield, and then he still was able to get a counter hit at from back turn. Yeah. That's the, shield, the shield is very powerful because it reflects some fireballs, and it's, and it's basically completely strike anyone. You know, if someone hits you, you basically get this counter hit. Oh, that's interesting. Steve manages to uh, involve in uh, invincible dash to the super. Yeah, I mean, that is the strength of this character. Uh, his ability to not be on the screen a lot of the time. Not looking good for... I was about to say, I was looking good for Simo, but you know, this is... Oh, how's it out of the throw? There's oh, that yeah. parry. Look at that. The timing on that parry, too. He just knew that Steve was going to want to press a button there. And I think he just did a 2P or something right. like that. Well, he was an extremely good parry because, you know, it's a full it's a full body parry. You don't have to go, I'm going to go high parry, I'm going to go low parry. It's just... I parry, you know. Like, of course, there's that startup and a bit of, and, and, and a bit of cooldown, but you know, it's a parry. Yeah, it's uh, that's another reason I think this character is strong is that he doesn't need to spend any meter on Blitz a lot of the time. But, yeah, because um, Blitz is, uh, is basically just a universal parry mechanic, almost like right. Right. Uh, but but you gotta guess high low. Yeah. Not with Leo. Though. Yeah, Leo basically just has this is my parry. I don't think who needs blitzing, right? And I feel like that shield is safer 